Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. We are 240 some days away from a town raid. To me, to prepare more for that, we've got weapons being made, we've got shields. I would love to be able to get armor going, but we don't have our wool industry up and running yet, or linens, or that much metal, or maybe we do. Anyway, what I'm thinking of is, we talked last time about getting more houses in here. That probably is the best thing to do, and just get more population, to get more more bodies in to f fill out another... Ooh, we're 36 of 36 now. That means we have enough spears and shields to f fill out a whole company. What have we got... 11 extra spears, 11 extra shields. We're selling the small shields. And 42 war bows. If we were in 7.96 or 6.5, I would immediately just you know click on the, the bow, the archer militia. And, and Oh, interesting. I just noticed that. Archer militia Gandalf. Yeah. Spear Militia Gandalf. I was wondering about that. So we need to get spears in and uh, uh, shields over to Samwise. Raiders are near. I'm, I'm thinking about too many things right now. And it's not all coming out of my mouth at this as fast as I'm thinking it. <laughs> so let's keep making spears. And let's switch over to big shields. And let's work on getting those over to them as well. We need their population growing too. I'd love to get a, uh, at least a, a company of 20 over here. Um, we were building this. We have one family building right now. What are we building? We are hauling out over here to get the trader going. Um, it would be nice to get a little more coins over here, so that is a thing. Housing-wise, we're six, and we've got one extra right now. And, okay, we're actually hauling out to over here, too. So you guys are there and there and there. Everything is hauled out, okay. Let's get one of you going. Uh, they're all the same progress. One of you can head up to very high. And then we'll get you going at high. And then you'll dive into all the rest of them. Which means what? We did get the other well in that we moved. Get out of there. And did we put in? We did put in the marketplace. So is this side okay now? And I didn't miss anything important, did I? No. Uh, saw pit needs storage space. Okay. Um, construction finished and a mule is required for pack station yeah let's I'm gonna pause here and think about some things we were sending firewood over there which they need and bringing berries back which we need who where are you guys right now you took off you took off with firewood now you're acting like a brand new family that's still waiting to be uh, allowed into society that's odd and last episode we was it the episode before we sent off 30 shields with our two traders and nothing, no money popped in. We were at 70 something and I started the next episode and they were all back here and it was still 70 something and no hint of where our 30 shields went. Obviously it's been working, but I, I kind of wonder if the game does a poor job of truly saving everything when you save and shut the game down. I wonder if there are parts of the, of the, you know, part, there are systems that don't get saved, like trades that are in progress and pack mule trips that were in progress. We watched them at the end of the last episode, come over here and grab some, some firewood and start walking off. So she was about to make her trip over there. Now apparently she's uh, you know, afraid to leave her home. So I, I, I don't understand what happened there. There's no way that she made the trip back there and came back here. That didn't happen. There's only five berries. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's up there. You, one family, two family. And, boy, we need berries to come in faster than that. Fuel, food is our problem here, though fuel is too. So we need to solve fuel over there. We need to solve food and fuel over here. You, what do I need to do to get you moving? So this... 
is a brand new family. Is there anybody around here? You guys are not in here anymore. No. Okay. I, can I get somebody who's closer who could just dive in? What are you, you guys doing? You're the Tanner, and that's just a single family. Yeah. And you are the granary worker. And granaries over here. We've got three families in there. Let's pull you out. <clears throat> let's pull you out. And let's put somebody back in. And who did that? That grabbed the, the granary workers. Okay. So they are now out and about and not afraid to start their job. All right. You are here. We did order a mule. We did order a mule. Have I lost the mule? Or is the mule coming in? Hello. There's our mule named Tommen. And you don't have a name. So you are the, the, the red shirt that's going to be... Uh, Delivering and then vanishing. You don't you don't really count. Okay. So mule is on its way. We now have a family to deal with it. Let's get a mule coming into here. Turn this back on again now that I think I've seen some things. You're gonna be a non existent family for a while. Yeah, you, you've got to go through your your waiting period before you're socially acceptable to enter society. <laughs> or something like that. So okay. We've got, I've got a lot of things in my mind right now, thinking about what to do, and I don't know how to get all of it done at one time. Yeah, over here, construction finish on a storehouse. Oh, that was the storehouse over there. And no space, a mule is required. Yeah, we just did that. Um, no space in the saw pit. Let's take a peek at that rope. We had a campsite, I did wait. Um, saw pit. None over there. One over here. So we've hired them again. And they've all started working. And now we're back to being told that our saw pit is full. Though last time we had three of them sitting out here. I don't know what went on there. How that works. But yeah. Bandit camp. What have you guys... Where are you? Where are you? Interesting. So you are just arriving. Oh, and you said, hey, hey, there's a retinue hiding over there. Let's go take him out, boys. So let's rush over here. I left these guys intentionally um, set up to be able to, to handle anything that might surprise them. Um, you guys, let's set you for stand your ground. And do I need to do anything else? If... I think we did so well last time. I was watching that while I was editing. Let's set you right here. While I was editing, I wish... While I was editing that I had left this up and running to see what was going on. I have a feeling that they were doing so well. You know, effectiveness like a 105... You know, green through almost the entire battle. Because we had the high ground. I think it gave them quite a bonus. Anywhere, anytime you can place yourself so that the the uh, the enemy is... is pretty significantly down you know below you so I think that's that's a pretty good grade right there so they are below so I'll be curious to see what happens here you guys let's line you up a little bit better so they don't beat this guy up first they're coming in at an angle oh I see we're at we're, on the, we're at the crown so we'll do it like that that's why that angle but that still works and you know they're they're fighting for their <laughs> come on get your cohesion up <laughs> Stop fighting. <laughs> there you go. Cohesion 20 now. So, I wish it gave us more information in this mode. I mean, we've got um, experience now. We've we've not lost anybody. So, we don't have uh, you know any negatives from recent losses. I wish it gave us a little more information. But let's stay in this mode this time and watch this. Watching this. Curious to see, in fact, how best. There... Or there. Let's go there. And I'll just let this sit here. And you guys can watch any changes. Hopefully it does it real time. Army power balance plus 50. Plus 40. So, power of balance. That means that we are superior. Plus 33. Boom. Our effectiveness is still 111. 
Uh, experience plus 24. Our cohesion just dropped. But our army power balance, our fatigue is going down because of the fight. But we're still holding... Uh, where's our effectiveness? They're still at 98. These guys are at 99. So we've evened out there. That's interesting. Swing around this side. We've got so 13 and 12. Corpses are near. Minus 20. Oh, that's not fair. Of course they're near. Okay, well, we're still at 12. We have won this one. And pause here because timing may be an issue. I realized I've got a pretty good chunk of change in the uh, in the treasury. How about we go build up our second garrison and bring this to a troop of 24 in time for um, for that raid coming in, as well as in time to give them a few more bandit camp experience points between all of the, the, the guys, not just the first 12. So let's take you guys over here and nail that. And let's go back, unpause, into here, and let's take a look at the manor. I'm pretty sure there's a tower in here. Uh, click, there we go, and what am I looking for? General, oh, there it was. This doesn't look like something to click on, it looks like a title. There. You, there was one called Garrison, that will increase maximum retinue size by 12. Limited by one per region. Okay, so 24 and one per region. Okay, so you, I've seen snap to that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get you built, and let's take you to... Well, let's commit, and can I say there? Highest priority. Let's get you done, and was there anything else building over here? We set up things to build over there. So they're going to be rolling in here soon. We're going to add to their numbers and make them a troop of 24 and then send them back out. And then hopefully when this raid comes in, we can time that right so that they can make it in, help us out, and get back in time so that these guys don't jump out and grab a bandit camp and then grab this whole, this last uh, province. I, I kind of like farming the gold out of them, which is about to happen here. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's think about what we want to do here. Now, I'm thinking this is going to remain. It's not the most fertile area, but it's still... Oh, it's, it's our little farming area over here. They'll have the whole province of farm over there, and maybe someday this will go away. But for now, they're too small to really satisfy what we need. So we need to maintain this. Um, so I want farm workers. But I want farm workers that aren't dealing with other jobs. I want them just to be available. So the problem with having, you know, someone who lives here to work in the farm is at the same time they need to be sowing, they need to be sowing. At the same time they need to be harvesting, they need to be harvesting. So I don't know that that's a wise combination. Maybe. I don't know. I've seen these not time out to harvest in September. In fact, what's she actually doing? She is... Transporting a large shield. Never mind. He's harvesting. I just saw that. Stop. You're... No, you're transporting. Okay. So I assume she was harvesting. It's June. So I'm, I'm thinking that right now these things harvest on a timer. So many weeks after you plant is when they, they come out, no matter what time of year it is. But eventually it's going to get fixed. And this is going to time with the fields, I'm guessing. So... What I'm trying to say in a very long-winded way is I think the house is right here. I don't want them to have backyards. So let's play with that idea. How do we make a, a shallow run? New message. Okay, let's, let's deal with that first. You to our treasury. And that's going to buy your, your 12. 12 times 50 is 600. Going to get almost 12 out of there. Um, taxes up. No, I, I would love to see that above 75. In fact, I'm almost tempted to say taxes down. Uh, I can't get in there and change the taxes now. Okay, um, let's get the retinue back over to here. We should have a couple months to be able to let's send you in at a run to be able to deal with this and get them back out there again. So that's all happening. There's a save. Let's get some houses in. Unpause. Down into here. H and I want them facing here so if I grab there and go around 
I can do that all in the same point out of four points. There's two. Yeah, that, that freaks me out every time. It's like the line I just drew went away when it pops up like that. But you're going to go over to here? Can I go around like that? I can. There. And then... Oh, that's right. No, we're going shallow. So if I do you and you... Um, you're freaking out on me. Okay. Do that and that. We just had something happen over there. That gives us one, two backyards. We don't have enough goods? Are we that low on logs? Wow. Yeah, the planks. I think they're, uh, they're overwhelming us. So... That gives me... What can I do? I can do five. No, no, not that way. Right there, minus. Right there. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine families right here in this industrial, or this agricultural area. Let's go for that. You're there. What was the, uh, the noise pull out of all of that? There we go. So, treasury register 131, treasury register 20. Oh, so close to our 600. New merchant income is available. New family moving in here. Uh, doesn't say anything about a family moving in over there. Enemy spot uh, units were spotted. Okay. So that's in. I need to deal with why we don't have so many logs. But over here, we were building a house. We got one. So we have two houses ahead. And... Mm, homelessness. What is... Oh, that's leftovers. Okay. So we're building. We didn't get a new family over here. Darn. Okay. Family members join Gandalf. Um, are we actually getting firewood over there? In fact, let's just do this. Do we still have a warning? We do. So firewood here is two. And... Because we're filling... We're putting them into the houses, too. You guys, what are you up to? So people... You're all waiting. Okay, I am a little confused. Used. Our pack mule, pack station worker, we're all waiting. But that family was not waiting. That family was outside. No barter. Okay, Samwise. And now maybe they won't be waiting. Going home. I'll give them a few ticks of the clock here. Now they're starting to move getting the mule. Okay, but last time, I hadn't chosen anything. I left it at no trade, and she went off to go get firewood. Maybe she was getting firewood for home and just psyched me out big time. It's it's possible. That's all that's going on there. She, yeah, that first family, they were here. She went and got firewood, and she went home instead of going to Samwise. Okay, more of the clues are falling into place. Okay, so I want another pack station, but let's get this built first. Two families to help with that. Um, let's get three families to help with that, because I think we're going to have to uh, not be using up our logs into, into planks quite so fast. This is getting quite aggressive over here. I need more families in here. So we have families. You are a family from down here. Let's take another look at that. Let's grab tab. Everything but these last two. All right, so is there an easy way to figure out where you work other than doing all the clicking? There probably isn't. I got to hit people. Now, I know you're over here somewhere. You're unassigned. Okay, so let's do something over here. Or do we? We also want to get this going. You are a family. People, you guys... I assume live way over there. Okay, so we're going to get rid of you. And we're going to put you, pack station worker. I'm going to put you, no wrong button. Wrong button, that one. You're going to you're gonna go here now. And you are going to get the one that just resigned. Now you guys, people, are in this area. Okay, your home is... Right over there. Perfect. Okay. So you are going to do what? Let's get two rounds of firewood over there for a little while. Just to get them filled up till we get enough people over there to really start running the firewood. Coming back from there could be something like meat. They had lots of berries and lots of meat. So berries coming in one, meat coming in another. We just got to rem remember not to let this go too long. And 
actually run them dry of food. Okay, so that's going. You are over there now. You are unassigned. Okay, let's get you working over here. Get more iron ore coming in. You are probably unassigned as well. So that gets us back into here. Let's get a third family uh, unassigned to here. Three families now running the firewood, which is lacking sorely, but um, they I'm pretty sure that I had really limited their their cutting area. So let's open up their cutting area. You guys, uh, construction finished, advanced. Um, yeah, you. Where do I want to clean up? You're not too far away. Originally, I wanted to open this area up and build in it. Let's open it up a little bit more. I'm also kind of liking the wild look to this area. So I don't want to do too much. But it'd be nice to be able to find that hunter's camp once in a while. So if we opened up right there. We're not into the animals. We're not into the berries. Let's do that. And I was originally going to open up the whole end. But the slope is so steep, it doesn't make sense to expose it. May as well just leave it as a, as a wooded area. In fact, you are... Oh, you're picking up the stones that were dissolving in the rain. Oh, good. Um, so, three families in here. We're going to start getting a lot more firewood. And... Our troops, are they back yet? We brought them to here. They are real close. So, you guys, we can go ahead and disband. And you're done. So, as soon as... Can I... What can I do now? It doesn't count. Oh, it does count of the 24, even though it's not built yet. Okay, well, let's get this done. So, how far do I go? Let's take it to 20. That leaves us with 194. That face. I, I, I see Sam Hugan from, uh, what, Jamie from Outlander. I know. Put a helmet on him. That That's what the first thing I thought of when I saw that. <laughs> um... Do I go further? I can get three more. Mm. Now, this is Hans, by the way, a master of chess. Every one of these have their own little slogan. Fritz, oh, he's also a master of chess. They're either going to be best friends or mortal enemies. Friedland studied various arts. Hans enjoys playing jokes on his fellow warriors, the, the, the chess masters. Jorg claims he performed a miracle once. <laughs> Kuntz loves animals. Nickel obsesses with cleanliness. Hans has a scar on his bottom that he claims was inflicted by a dragon. <laughs> Bartholomew's secretly in love with his lord's daughter. Hmm. Ott was a bandit once and robbed travelers. Heinz refuses to eat vegetables. And Bartholomew's two has an evil twin. Aha! Uh -huh. They're both named. Yeah. Vit follows the code of chivalry. Albrecht? Albrecht? Knows how to treat wounds and diseases with herbs. Jacob, a master of chess. Vit has great eyesight and can hit even a small target from a long distance. Boy, I wish I could get a bow on you. Nickel? Has great eyesight and can hit even a small target from a long distance. Okay, you pair those two up. Linhart was our accidental uh, uh, commander here with, with the upgraded armor. He studied various arts. And let's see, Hans studied various arts. And another Hans. Hans was the, the John of their day. As a collector of rare books. Okay, I'm going to pause here and set all of their armor colors and be right back. Okay, that's the last one, and I decided to rename him Sam, just, just, just because. Close. We've got 20 of 12. Okay, so we're still waiting for this to complete before we are official. I see. Okay, something else that I noticed while I was in there is that it gives us now an expertise bar. So, yeah, the more of these little skirmishes we can pull off, the more experienced our troops will be for the uh, for the real deal at the end of the end of the series um let's see am i i am paused so waiting for that to finish we'll get the announcement uh samwise construction finish on a trading post is there anything really to trade yet not really got it built 
We'll work on houses next. I think this is the first thing to deal with. Though I don't want to trade that. Hmm. What does ore trade for? Trade. Uh, commodity? Yeah, right? Tools? No, I guess it's a crafting material. Okay. So, there you are. Ore, three. We'll get three for it. How about stone? Uh, where are you? You're a building material. Construction, stone, one. Okay. So, stone and iron. Eventually, clay. It's over here somewhere. But these need to be cleaned out, but I hate to sell it. I really do. I... Wind's coming in. I want to ship that over to... Uh, to me. Although, ours is going to be a deep mine. We have 1700 Okay, they can sell it. So if they can clear this out, they can have something to sell as well as get ready for the flax field that's going to come into here. Alright, so I need to send a family. Um, did we get a family and I not know it? Hmm. It feels like I only had six over here. It's possible. You guys get this one done next. And then let's get that done. There we go. Boy, bouncing all over the place. Stop, stop, stop. There. Burgage plot. No, I wanted the... I saw manor. There we go. You're complete. So now we have 20 of 24. Let's get... What is going on here? Man, we've got a... Uh, yeah, they, 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 they had a ceremony out here and they celebrated the new garrison, apparently. So if I were to surprise you guys and just rally you, what would, what would you all do? Oh, you gotta run inside so you can come back out. Oh, it's a... It's a, it's a mess. Yeah, we need more than one door, definitely. Come on, guys, you can do it. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're there. So, we've got all of our, our uniforms on, and we're ready to go. So, you guys, let's get you back before the next raid of bandits arrives. Um, I like where you were before. Seems to be pretty central. Let's set you guys up. Over here-ish. There. 20 of 20. And take you wide or back you up? Let's take you wide and see what happens with that. No running. And stay at stand your ground. We'll see if we get one more battle before this episode's over. Alright, well, I don't even know when that is. Where Am I already 20-some minutes into this? Wow. Yeah, these hour-long episodes, I wish they were much, much longer. I, by, you know, 40 minutes into it, I'm finally just hitting my stride and feeling like I am I know what I'm up to. So, we got more firewood coming in. We need more logs coming in. We got rid of the saw pit, one of the two saw pits. So, what did that do for us? Now, we're, we're still at six timber, so that's not helping. So, you guys... Seems like I set you, got stuff going on over there I need to go deal with. I set you for this area and it looks like it's been happening. Okay. You, if I keep you taking this out over here, then I probably should get a forester in. Oh, there's so much going on. A forester in to start filling that back in because it takes a long time for these trees to grow. So, did we get everybody done over here? You work unassigned you work the firewood cutter you are a firewood cutter let's grab the one unassigned though it means I've got to swap somebody around but let's build well we'll have them build their own forestry camp so gathering and right there foresters hut and where to in the center of your work zone or out where we can find you there's an advantage to that too. Are we on snap? We are. Undo you. So the forestry stuff seems to be all centered in here. So it makes sense to, to just do this. Yeah. Pop you in right there and get you built. Make you a very high. What was the high, super high I just did? I don't remember. We did that. I think it was over on the other side. So, houses over here. Let's get this set. No, let's go deal with the other side. Then we'll come back to that. Let's get one of you guys up and going. So, take you to high. And so we can see that area. Let's get back over here. Uh, you are still what? Uh, storehouse. 
weather damage that is the stone that's still sitting out here okay and over in this area we are uh, generic storage is full the I assume it's one of these guys yeah you uh, only one family there's more than one log one family here no families there okay so that works and you are just firewood and you are what work area is empty for this I had you guys cutting trees in a specific area I see there's a tree sitting down right there where and why firewood stall Gandalf firewood oh stall okay where was I having you cut trees I was having you clear out the last of the area for our uh, for our fields right here too okay so these are all taken down let's have you clear out just kind of this area right here you and just kind of clear out your own work zone so you much smaller and I would say into this storehouse right here so if we did something like where's that tree that was down right down there okay so get you in there just like that and we haven't had a good fire yet have we now that I say that it'll happen but yeah we I've, I've seen several other series and they all seem to get fires why am I not getting a fire I want I did have one fire once in my practice game it hit a stall it immediately spread to the next stall and the next stall. But I had a, a well right next to it. And put it out almost immediately. Didn't lose anything. But a well right next to it. That, that's that's a nice thing to have, isn't it? Let's... What have we got going on here? We have a well right over there. Uh, housing and well. We can't go over here. So that's the best we can do. The best we can do is kind of double up on it. So let's go ahead and set one in this area here. And... How close can I get to that tree? Let's get you going. Let's just get a backup well in this area. So a well there. Didn't miss anything. There we go. Construction finish. Nothing on fire. Or at least nothing that it's going to tell me is on fire. We have a well over here. Well over there. Well over there. And there was a well over here somewhere. Okay. I'm getting a little concerned over here. Let's take another look at... I missed you completely, didn't I? There you are. So, no obvious flames. No screaming and panicking. Yeah. Boy, when you get down here, it doesn't look like a stormy day. Get up here, it looks much more stormy. So, oh, one last kind of peek around. Okay, back over here to Samwise. Um, so, I'm going to need... What do we have here in the way of men? 14 men. I'm going to need... Um, spears and shields to make their way over here real soon. We now have this going on. We have the tannery going on. A fire broke out. Rubble. Samwise. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, unlike other games, there's not a button I can push to say, quickly, help with the fire out. It's whenever they seem to get done with their circuit. And then they reevaluate what they're going to do next. And then they take off to go and, oh, she had to get in line. Is she going to turn around? Oh, she's already got water. Okay. Oh, boy. We're spreading big time. So, pause. You have seven firewood. You have nothing. You're just rubble. That was our food stall. So, it... Apparently, it was already decided that it was a lost cause. The well was too far away. Yeah... Okay, am I missing another uh, food stall hit by lightning? Fire broke out, so no other messages from the other side. Okay, well here's the drama of this episode, apparently. Yeah, should I call this one Speak of the Devil? <laughs> Who knows where I'm, where I'm going to land on the search engines for that title. It does look like we're going to lose everything. Yeah, they're, they're taking a lot... Well, we're finally getting a little more... Uh, action over here. Can we get this guy put out? Maybe? We're, we're trying. There aren't enough people. I don't know what to do to get more people available. Do I fire everybody so that they have nothing to do with this? Or she has to, to finish uh, walking through the fire first and drop off the ox. Then she'll jump in and help out too. I think it comes down to just the fire is rebuilding faster than they can get the water over here because it's such a long run and there are fewer people doing it. Now we're getting a few bigger numbers. Boom, 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 boom. There's another one. 
and she's I guess that was the stall falling apart look at that yeah it's it's, it's falling apart on us this one looks like it's gonna be safe still have fire seven firewood in there but yeah well we're getting there you'd think the rain would help out too now it does seem like there could be improvements made to to this system here you know a, a, a bell to stop everybody from what they're doing and immediately start them to, to work on on home buckets now if we had chosen the other option in the startup of the series that would why are you guys standing around because this one's done but this one's still well maybe we now officially have enough yeah we had enough people with buckets on their way the game said okay you're finished okay so this needs to be rebuilt and rebuild you and that was our first fire but yeah there needs to be a way to stop everyone from what they're doing they have to finish whatever their their job was and then say oh there's a fire and then make the run back as as it stands right now okay uh samwise foods doll construction finished um that's over here oh okay well <clears throat> while this one was burning down apparently uh this this family decided just to uh getting it back to transporting yeah uh, kungut kungunt decided to uh to go just build another stall and let that one let that one burn she had the insurance policy on it she was she was okay um two families let's get somebody in here and get some some ore coming and then once that's all mined out and cleaned up we'll sell it off and that'll be our first round of coins coming in all right so you so I, I assume are getting some firewood hauled into you we're still down to three even though there's seven six three so there's three in storage uh storage over here there's three in storage right there okay that explains that there are planks in storage there are lots of hides ah because we really need to get somebody over here how are our our meat is is done it's we're at 10 of 20 camp is over here we already took somebody out so i can't steal somebody from there uh berries are getting quite low though let's take berries down we already took them down by one so do berries just die in july now i mean why wouldn't this just continue to grow and propagate through the year it's kind of a surprise to me hmm okay well i'll leave you alone i need a family to start uh putting together leather but i don't know where to grab them i do want to continue building so we're above 50 percent. i guess when we hit uh when we hit august we'll get our next family how are you guys doing uh you're still getting there so you're right over here so whatever happens in august as far as bandits we should be back in place and ready to go now i do wonder if the game is going to ramp up on us if we have more than the 12 available will they give us a more significant bandit camp i wonder if that is such a thing over here we're kind of cleaning up the last well still got a ways to go last of the of the clay we got a family back into here we did we have bloomery did we shut that one down we are still up and running we need refueling and that's just a, a matter of a family getting in there and doing it we're probably doing it now probably transporting firewood um requirements not met over here you are probably firewood yeah we need a firewood stall supply and what else do we have going on here storehouse goods that is all okay so other messages samwise a food stall is done gandalf a forester's hut is done okay so the very one that was building the forester's hut can now go and live there or work there firewood cutter you're this one you're this one unassigned you are going to go here you're going to have a work area of i guess for now let's kind of fill this in later on we'll start working on filling in around here see if we can get some trees up into little little gaps and spaces around and make this look look not quite so desolate so we need a family to start working on we have lots of planks start working on building an unassigned family um 
Let's think that one through. Because I actually could use several unassigned families. I would like to say we have plenty of planks, but I did that once. And these guys ate us out of planks at home. But let's go ahead and do just that. But although you guys work down here. Where do you guys work? Advanced. Um, people. Home. Over here. You're fired. I wish I could just tell these families to go away. So you... Mm, I guess I'll just fire all of you. Let's do it that way. So logging camp. Uh, general. Minus, minus. Okay. So who over here... We know these three work down in this area. Do any of these not work down in this area? So people, no families yet. So these two, no families yet. So this one works firewood cutter. You work miner. Oh, and you're the other miner. Okay, so that's all done. So we do need logs. So I guess what is it going to be from the, the closest families? So what else can I do? We... Have it. We don't need a smithy. Any of these we can shut down. Actually, we have plenty of iron, don't we? Iron would be commodities. Iron. Building. Crafting material. Crafting material. Iron slabs. Only 22. Okay. I need the bloomer going. Alright. You're the clay furnace. I don't really need you going. It would be nice to use the, uh, uh, the clay as it's coming in, but I don't need you going. So you can... We'll just pop two families back in here and just kind of see where they're coming from so you live over there and you live over there you're a good one the other one not so but that'll just have to be good enough okay one family is still doing all the building so what else do we want to who else can we raid we don't have anybody in there we have nobody in there uh two trading families they are bringing in some funds, but can we do with only one now? It's possible. It's possible. New month. So, let's... Who are you? You are not us. Okay. Where... If I pull... It's going to pull this family out here. So, is there a way to figure out who that family is? If you don't see the, the, uh, the food stall whatever that is, here. So I don't know which one. I Actually, I do. Peddling. Okay. This family's going to go away, and they're waiting. Whatever that means. So, fine. You guys can go away. People, peddling. So I have somebody who will move family moving in. Come on, I need a Samwise family moving in. Oh, that's kind of frustrating. It's just not happening over there yet. What do we have to do to make them happier? It's church and clothing stall. Okay. I need the tannery going over here. Boy, this just feels denser. It really does. I need you up and running. And... Do we pull you out of there? Let's pull you out. I want to know if nine can grow back if we stop picking them. So let's pull you out. That's two families now. Um, we need clothes and we need two families to build a church. What are we lacking to build the church? Right there, we're lacking nothing. Where does the church go? This was going to be all crops. Right? Uh, barley. Flax. Barley. Okay, that's going to be barley. Two more fields of barley over here. And then we're going to put two fields of emmer over here. And two fields of flax over here. And see if we can... Shut everything down next season and put eight families in here. And get everything planted and going. And then, you know, basically put the town in mothballs for a while. Um, that actually happens in September, doesn't it? It happens as soon as the church is built, is what I'm now thinking. A lot more housing out here. And more housing out over here, Barley. Yeah, this could be housing. This could be housing. Church goes in this area. Church goes right here. So, right there. And there is potentially another field over here. I forgot about that. That's This guy shouldn't be here. Um, like so. Let's see the barley one more time. 
So that puts you kind of right in here if we do decide to do that. So let's do that. You're going to be there like that. Kick your priority up. Let's get you going. Did we get that other well in? It's the kind of thing we would have done pretty quickly. Uh, noises, new family, family members, construction, burgage plot, new mercenary companies, treasury, another 20. We now have enough treasury to finish off our retinue. So next bandit battle, we'll bring them in and add the last four. Drought? Wait, wait, I just saw the word drought. Lands are stricken by a drought. Oh. There needs to be a little more fanfare around that. I would have never seen that. Yeah. There needs to be, I don't know, the sound of, I don't know, some something being sucked dry or something. H hot winds blowing through. There needs to be something, some other way to let us know about that. Um, so church is going in. We're going to get that one built. Tanner is going in. We're going to get clothing. These guys are going to get really happy. They're going to start building. Let's, we have 15 logs. Let's give them something more to build. I wanted somebody to do this. That's right. You still have no employees. Hmm. And you're not going to be going to have it for a while. So, firewood, you are pull out. Firewood, we're up to 40. We're going to depend on importing for, or bartering for firewood here. So that we can do other things. So over here, firewood is at 53. So both of you guys are sending out firewood and you can bring him back food. Food is still dangerously low despite. Okay, boy, I wish I had an emmer crop over there. So that I can get more bread for over here. Yeah. Um, is there any way of knowing if this is actually working? No, I didn't push the button again. Mm. Okay, Samwise and Samwise. Now we're going to get some work done. You guys have been doing what all this time? You've had a wonderful vacation. You have. Okay, you guys, people, and you're transporting and transporting. Let's get another pack mule into here. And eventually we get another one into here. We can house two. Although livestock, oh, it, it's counting it as a stable. Oh, that is so frustrating. Stable space two. It just put our pack mules over in whatever other stable was around. Here? Livestock. Not that one. So, there were no openings left over here. Uh, no. You. Livestock. Um, no, none of you. So, why do I not see livestock? It's not because they're not here right now, because the oxen are still showing in their stables, and they're not there right now. Uh, this one over here, you did not build first, so you shouldn't be here. I don't know what to think. Where are they hiding the uh, uh, the mules? There's only this one. Oh, livestock. No, that's just Viet. What are you? You're part of that. Never mind. Nope, I don't know what to think there. That is odd. I don't think there's any of the stables I've built. We will eventually have a lot more stables, but this kind of looks good here. This little, uh, little trading complex. Yeah. Now you... Actually, we have two oxen sitting there. Two oxen and a horse and a... What? Guys. Go, uh... Go do something with your... Your, your, your little ox pets. Um... So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place, aren't I? Let's set these guys in. These are mostly built. Let's set these in. Then we'll be done with building over here. Um, houses and... I guess it's got to be here first so it knows where to aim. So something like that. And then swing you around. How far can we go? Oh, we can go all the way. Right there. No, it doesn't like that. Okay, so we'll go... We'll go to there. I guess I could do something like that. Um, that's just a matter of logs. Okay. So you're there. But as I move around, we can change the orientation. Interesting. Yeah. So if we do that, we got some big backyards. So minus several times and see what we've got going on here. If I were to go even further, we could have more vegetable gardens. 
We could have some normal vegetable gardens. Maybe there's something in that. Noises just happened. Um, lots of double plots and vegetable gardens. Let's do that. All right, you're going in. These guys are our, well, when they're filled, they'll be our new farmers. September's coming up. What was that noise? Gandalf, Burgage Plot, Burgage Plot. And clothing stall. Clothing stall. Okay, so we should see this move up rather quickly next month. You are already halfway gone. There are only 60-some in here. So this is going to go away rather quickly. We can get rid of it. Then we'll haul it all over there and get that sold. Um, what does it cost? Actually, it doesn't cost anything to sell that, does it? Where am I? Over here. You trade. Um, no, trade. I want to say crafting material. Iron ore. It does not cost. We could export for three. Okay. So, yeah, we'll set up that to, to happen. Two families to get this built on the highest priority. So hopefully that goes in pretty soon. And that should really help us out uh, approval-wise. So more houses over here is what I was about to do, but the church was more important. So, yeah, I was thinking another field over here, but actually I, I'm going to pass on that. Um, it was barley, and it spilled over. So burgage plot. Um... It spilled over. It wasn't necessary. The flax is here. So I thought maybe we'd just sneak a barley field in alongside of it. Actually, you know, that does still sound right. Because eventually, there's going to be... This farm, I think, is going to be running a little bit larger area over here. So these one, two, three, four could be run from a farm over here somewhere. It could. Okay. So before you get filled up, you probably need to... You got nothing inside. Let's just take you down. Oh, I can relocate you. Oh, nice. Let's get you out of the barley field. Back over into here. Yeah. You're just going to be right there where you need to be. Like so. And... I'm assuming that it's going to build with a gable in this direction. But we'll see. With the tent. Can't really tell what I'm looking at. You're there. How does that turn it? This turn into that? Interesting. So he's saying this is that, right there. I think it's what that's saying. I think. So in that case, we'll turn it in this orientation, and set you to right there. Move you to there, and get you. Don't have to move you quickly. Well, it would give him a close place to store things. But no, we want the church done first. But with that gone, okay, we'll do a field over here once the rock is gone. We'll do a church over here. I'm trying to work my way through where we're going to put new housing. Um, it was going to be here. And I was going to tell the foresters, the, the woodcutters, to take these trees down. And But I don't have another family to toss in there to do that. So let's tell you guys one more time to uproot all of your plans. and Get over here and clean this out so I can put houses in here. Um, unless I want to put houses in that could keep those as their backyards. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, right click. I assume that means that they're going to continue working over here. What do houses look like if I did that? Now we've got the, the marketplace over here. So houses and draw you to there. Draw you to there. And I guess something like that that we got how do the roads work here rather complex crossroad going on let's stagger you out like this and put this road off of there now if I turn you around what do we actually get we get that we'll keep all these trees if we don't build in the backyards minus minus Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Build you. And how many trees go away? We kept them all. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That will leave a spit of trees out here in the middle of all these houses. And that gives them plenty of things to build. And we have water here. We have eventually a market over here. We're going to eventually want water down in this area. Did we just get that to happen? Um, yeah, we can, we can do it right over here. 
So a road will kick off from here and head off in this direction and probably come right along this direction too, their backyards. So let's tighten that corner up a little bit, make that look like it's intentional. In fact, let's back it off to right on that corner. There we go. So you're going to go there and a nub passed. Build. All right, so the road is in. Let's get a well over here in case I forget to put it in later. And you can be on this road like that right in there all right so houses and wells church tanners up and going uh tanning stall went in food went back into here firewood is over there F uh clothing over here and more food over there so there was only four planned for this area so these two are full next it moves out into this area for more market stalls all right so that is going and tell me i'm not at an hour yet am i oh man not possible so all right well over here we have plenty of houses planned plenty of, for them to do we need to i guess think a little bit harder about food and firewood for this side before we get any closer to winter Firewood should be coming in at a faster rate now, though we are hauling some of it away. Food's up to four months now. That's helpful. You are gone. Zero of 64, you're gone. Over here, um, where am I? Right there. We still at the eight? Still at the nine. So that tells me it's just going to, uh, we get the one run and that's it. Maybe it requires the little crown on the top, the rich deposit to to continue producing all the way until snow on the berries that's possible it may be that my practice games i always had rich berries and so i never knew there was a difference you are still at well you're at 19 of so let's get more we, we just got a family no we're we're in the wrong place <laughs> we got a lot of families um where is the camp there you are we could get a third one in here and get more meat in. I think we better do that. Oh, that's it. It's just the two. Okay. So food consumed. Interesting. Um, in that case, you will just stick to the two. And we'll just let them run continuously. They'll run all, right through the winter too. Okay. So logs, three. We still are not bringing in the logs. So you guys, logs are here... Burgage plots are building like crazy. Um, we need one more family. Did you ever move in, people? We did. You're going to run this one over here. And, yeah, we're just... Well, we're building a lot of houses. We've, I've got to say that. Now, how are we on weapons? I wanted to stop at 20 and 20. <laughs> okay. So, let's, let's, let's stop at 39. Um go back to small let's stop at 30 what was this one 32 36 would actually be a good place to stop but I'm gonna forget and come back here so we're stopping at 32 and we're gonna switch over to there all right so you're gonna start making pull arms for our next group probably a a pull arm uh, uh, where are you right there pull arm militia yeah so a pull arm militia Hopefully, by the time we get down to the one the one day left, we will have at least 20 of them put together. They don't use uh, shields. So they'll be fine. And we need to seriously start moving more of that over there. They don't need both of these guys running firewood over. Okay, so let's have you start bringing over spears. Spears, is it alphabetical? No, but I just saw you run past me. All right, spears for meat. Meat over here is right there. Meat is down to six. No more mere, uh, spears for meat. Okay. What do they have to offer? I can't think of anything else other than planks, and we don't need planks. They could send timber in. No, they can't. You can't get someone to put a timber on their back and bring that in. I guess it's berries. We have 82 berries over here. I just have to stop it before we... We have zero berries over there so you are going to swap out two berries as well berries are right there 
So Samwise, we're actually working this time. Um, 11 days before we can get another mule. I still don't know where the mules are parked. You, livestock, none. And advanced general, zero of two. We bought two for this one already. Are you guys actually running mules? People, bartering. Boom. No, you're not. And bartering. You've got a mule. Did I not click that a second time? I'm really kind of confused here. So you... Maybe that... No, it's the other one that's arriving. I don't know. You're here? No, you're just an ox this time. So that one we'll just have to keep an eye on. All right, so we need to get shields and spears over there. We'll do a round of spears for a while, and we'll do a round of shields for a while. They only need 15 or so at the moment. Um, we desperately need fuel over here, too. If we could get to this level, we could get charcoal going. So I need... And we were kind of stalled last time. We couldn't do this. Now we can. Give me an upgrade. Uh, I'm out of logs. Alright, I'm stalled even further. So I guess that means this is a place to stop. Next time September I ought to start with a little bandit raid over here somewhere. That tends to be... I tend to get three months at a time and there tends to be a bandit raid every three months. Interesting. So with that, I guess I'm going to unfortunately call this done. I feel like I've done so little this time. Yeah, I could cut out half of it and and, uh, and get a lot more accomplished each episode, but I think there's a lot of you out there that like to see all the little details. So this doesn't have to be a, a 15 episode series. It could be a 75 episode series. I have no problem with that. So with that, I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.